Welcome back to Tongue Tied Games and the mobile game Orphans. In the last video, I practically was eaten alive by spiders. You might be asking yourself, TT, I don't remember spiders in Orphans. Well, you're right. I wasn't being eaten alive in the game. It was more <laughs> IRL. I, had, I practically had spiders raining down on me while I was recording the last video. But in the last video, Sandy and Mika were kind of going at it with each other. That They were not happy with each other. Sandy was suggesting to Mika that maybe we should, uh, you know, tie up and maybe lock up Annie because Annie started acting a little weird. Mika, on the other hand, was like, look, there's nothing wrong with Annie. She's just exhausted. She's tired. She's sick. There's nothing wrong with any, I'm, how dare you tell me to, to lock up my sister? What are you going to do? The same thing that you did to Jarek? <laughs> I mean, she was spitting fire. And, and so Sandy and Mika are not on great terms right now. If we check back with the notes, we have the devil, uh, the devil star. A host does not seem to be the only prerequisite for the devil's arrival. We found out that a certain star alignment in the constellation of Perseus, which occurs only once in a century, introduces the Day of Enlightenment. Amber's father obviously knows how to fight the demon without killing the host. Goober has just contacted her and claims to know where they're holding Henry. Massive sus. Big doubt. I think it's a super trap. Goober's still sus. Don't trust him at all. We already know that he's going to do things to save his own skin. He's going to do things in, in fear of, of the Brotherhood. So we already know all that. So it's super sus. I definitely think it's a trap. Either way, he acted pretty secretive and wants to meet Amber somewhere. Just then, Sandy called. Or Sandy called. Something is wrong. She sounded pretty scared and obviously didn't want Mika or Annie to overhear the conversation. That's when Sandy was talking to us about... Uh, what she was experiencing with Annie and, and Andy's symptoms being similar to that of Tammy's. Now, if you think about it, if Annie was taken over by Belial, then Annie's symptoms should be that of similarity to Jarek. But if they're similar to Tammy, then it's probably something else. We also have a new diary entry. Let's go ahead and listen to that right now. I continue to study Sister Brown's notes. It appears that the exorcism and death of Amelia left deep scars. Nevertheless, she remained determined to confront the forces of evil that were still active in and around the orphanage. Since poor Amelia's death, my strength seems to be failing me. I think the banishment of the demon has taken its toll. When I woke up this morning and looked in the mirror, I saw the face of an old woman. My hair has turned almost completely gray overnight. My skin has become wrinkled. My joints are aching and my hands trembling as I write these lines. I pray to the Almighty to give me the strength to continue my fight against the forces of darkness. There is still a thick fog hanging over this place. The daylight has given way to eternal darkness. A few days ago, I decided to proceed with my research in a small cabin near the orphanage because the deep sadness of this place made me fall into a state of melancholy. Of course, my priority always remains to fulfill my Christian duties and protect our orphans. More and more that I hear about Sister Brown, the more and more I like her. She's on the right side of things. She's trying to help. She's she's the light. She's... Not the enlightenment, but <laughs> she is the light. She is the good. 
And it, it, it kind of showed right here just now that, you know, after she was trying to help Amelia, she did banish Belial. Uh, however, she was unsuccessful in saving Amelia. But doing all that, she was essentially robbed of her own life source. I mean, kind of like what she said there, she essentially aged by probably decades overnight. You know, a lot of her life was, 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 uh, sacrificed to potentially, well, to, to try and save Amelia, but to basically banish Belial, which is pretty intense. Let's go ahead and jump back in with Sandy. Sandy's asking, what the hell is going on with Mika? And you know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't changed the background. Let's go ahead and change the background. We haven't changed the background in a long time. Should we go back to the nun? Oh, should we do the child? Let's do the child. Yeah, there we go. What is going on with Mika? She's, uh, she is not the Mika I know. She's so, I don't know how to describe it, so aggressive. Now, aggressiveness was a symptom of Jarek. She's just scared for her sister, Sandy. I also thought she went too far. She'll come around. Look, I, I, I did think. I, I thought she went too far with her statements. I, I definitely think that was true. And aggressiveness was, was a symptom of Jarek. Way too far. I never seen her like that. That was nasty. It really was. Like She said some really mean things to Sandy. Honestly, accusing me of hiding away and watching while Jarek... That was heartless and cold. I know we're all exhausted and on edge. We're all going through hell. But that doesn't give her the right to go after me like that just because I'm worried. Because I'm scared Annie could end up like Jarek. That's not the Mika I know. She's so different. Do you think it could be her that's possessed TT? Maybe it's not Annie, but Mika? I mean, the symptoms of aggressiveness do match with Jarek. So I, it, it, probably more Mika than it is Annie, to be honest. You said it yourself. She's scared and exhausted. I admit that was pretty intense. Maybe the cabin really is a safe haven and neither of them are possessed. Maybe, maybe Annie is just exhausted and maybe Mika is just having a natural emotional reaction to 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 what sandy was saying i i don't know but i don't know maybe she's just scared and exhausted who knows when the last time any of them have slept I'm, I'm still uncertain like the time frame of all this like we know that we know that we have like 10 hours from the start or basically from from maybe a couple episodes ago, or not episodes, but a couple videos ago until the end of the, the series. We have roughly 10 hours of in-game, in-game 10 hours. Um, because that's that's when the whole enlightenment process is supposed to be, right? Um, but I don't know how long it's been. I, I don't know if it's been three or four days since then. I'm not sure. Sandy says, I know, but something is wrong, TT. That's not like her. I've known her for quite a while now. I don't recognize this Mika at all. Kind of like how she didn't recognize this the, that, that particular Jared. Now it's you who's overreacting. Extreme situations can trigger extreme feelings. You should all calm down. It won't help anyone if you lose it now. Uh, I'm going to go with extreme situations can trigger extreme feelings. Um... I don't know if you guys can hear that, but, you know, Stella is absolutely losing her mind right now. <laughs> she, there must be like a, a fox or a deer or something like that outside the outside the window or something out in my yard. I'm with you, says Sandy, but Mika's behavior was way over the top. I don't feel good about the situation. As long as we don't know who is possessed, I'll keep an eye on both of them. I'd better go back inside. Maybe she's settled down again. Wait a sec. Here she comes. 
Wish me luck, TT. Talk to you later. Good luck, Sandy. Let me know how that goes. I'll keep my phone on so you can re uh, so you can relay any news to us. Perfect. Sounds good. Hopefully, oh, Jason. Hopefully, Mika goes back and apologizes to Sandy. Let's talk with Jason and see how Samuel and Ina are doing. Have you heard from Samuel? I guess we're going to tell him how Samuel is doing. Uh, he texted me a bit earlier. Where the hell are you? Ina and Samuel are still being held captive. Last I heard, Ina is still unconscious. I have, but he heard someone coming and had to... Look, I'm going to let him know the whole story. Ina and Samuel are being held captive. Last I heard, Ina is still unconscious. Kind of like in a dope, doped out state. She's like paralyzed with her eyes open. It's weird. <laughs> She's in a weird state right now. Damn. They're going to hold them there and drug Ina until they arrive. So they're con they're still drugging Ina? Like they're, they're actively drug. Oh, that's why the person was coming back to the cell was to, to, to shoot her up some more, I guess. I'm behind the hall and been trying to reach Samuel. He won't answer. Let's hope they didn't discover the phone. Otherwise, they'll know it was me who slipped it to him. They'll find out we're working together. Then we're screwed. Are there any news on your side? We're scared my friend has been taken possession of. It is possible there's a place Belial is avoiding. We found out something about Algol and the Axis of Evil. That's right. The Devil's Star is already within the Eclipse. When the demon has found a host and the sacrifice is offered, when the Eclipse is nearly over. The one without light will emerge from the darkness and ascend his throne. He must be stopped at all costs, TT. The host must die before it's too late. Die? It could be one of my friends, Jason. There's got to be another way. Right, they don't have to die, right? Plus, it's like it could potentially be two hosts. I'm sorry, but I don't see any alternative at the moment. If Belial really took possession of one of your friends, he will try to conceal himself, lie, and try to deceive you, do everything to confuse you until he has reached full strength. I have to find a way to free Samuel and Ina, but the timing must be right. If I'm too early, they will notice their escape and look for a new victim. If I'm too late, I think we both know what will happen then. If only I knew how to get them out of there. I'll have to lie in, in wait. Watch what happens and wait for the right moment. Till is online. Till, we haven't heard from Till in a while. He's probably still sitting there saying like, hey, it's all still a huge prank. The the Your group of friends, they got that entire village to go in on it. Like, I know Till's going to say that. <laughs> uh, so Jason was saying, watch what happens and wait for the right moment talk again soon let's go ahead and talk to till from the bwt the broken window theory can you explain what's going on tt we haven't been able to reach tammy and the others for hours i've been telling you till and mark i've been telling you this entire time what's been going on but you haven't been listening you just think that that, that it's all a huge joke but you could have been helping me this entire time we're starting to get worried no matter what i say you won't believe me anyways you're right to be worried. What if I told you that Mika might become the victim of a demon? Look, whatever I say, you're not going to believe me anyways. You haven't believed me the entire time. Then stop telling horror stories. There, there we go. There we go. The, already, already going to not believe what I say. Please, we just want to know why no one wants to talk to us anymore. I know we made fun of you guys, but we apologize. I think that should be enough. I agree, says Marco. All jokes aside, TT, what's going on there? They're in the clutches of a cult and in great danger. Jarek is dead. Samuel and Eno were kidnapped. They're all in danger. And no, this is not. Look, I'm, I'm telling them right now. Jarek is dead. Jer Jarek is dead. Samuel and Eno are kidnapped. Stop it already. That is not funny. Nothing I can say. Nothing nothing I can say they're, they're going to take seriously. Except for Marco. <laughs> I'm starting to think that Tongue Tied is serious. Look, there's the, there's the MP3. 
Listen to it for yourself. Let's listen to it ourselves. Jerry, don't come any closer. Please. Just stay back. Just stay right there. Don't move. Please don't make me. Jerry! No! Mmm. Mm. What is that? Is that Sandy? What the fuck? Yeah, that what was Sandy. That was Sandy and Jerry. Jerry, please wake up. I hope I could only finally open your eyes. Do you want to help them, or should they all die like Jared? Do you think we're? Uh, do you think that we're still joking? Yeah, you, you think you think we're still joking? Oh my God, what the hell is happening? Tell us, what's the deal with Jared? I I just told you. You just heard it. Is he? Yes, he is dead. I don't have time for long explanations. Tammy and the others will also die if we do nothing. And the only person who knows how to stop it has been kidnapped. We may have a lead to the place where they're hiding him, but we're running out of time. That's horrible. And the others are also in danger. Everyone, everyone except for me is in danger too. <laughs> and the only reason I'm not in danger is because I'm not physically there. That's what I've been trying to get to get you to understand all along. Yes, they are. If we do nothing, they look. That's, that's what I've been trying to tell you this entire damn time, Till and Marco. You said that you guys can stop it. Stop what, Marco? I, I, I don't. I, I I just don't have time to explain. I don't. Okay. If you find him, can the others be saved? Yes, but maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Amber is online. Says, oh my God, Goober is with my dad. Somewhere here on the grounds. Goober's offline. I'm supposed to come to Hall 5. There's no way that this is real. Goober says, or Amber says, where the hell are you? I'm now at the meeting point. Goober says, Amber, your father is there. What? Is he okay? Let me talk to him. We're in one of the factory halls, Hall 5. Come quickly. I'm afraid he... Please hurry. Damn it, group. There's no way. There's no way. I don't trust Goober at all. This is too dodgy. Get out of there. But then, why is he going offline? Doesn't it seem strange to you? Look, it, it should seem strange to you by now, Amber. He keeps going on and offline. Like, why? He's with my dad, and there's something wrong with him. I have to get them, get to them. I'm terrified. I get it, Amber, but it's it's not gonna. You're just gonna get kidnapped, Amber, and I'm gonna lose a future ex-wife. <laughs> it doesn't change anything, though. I'm gonna head to Hall Five now. I have to walk from here. There's no way I can get there by car. Is this Hall Five? It's got a big old gate. You have to go through the gate, maybe. Locked up. Sketchy. It's sus. Super sus. Wolf, there's good news. I was able to locate Goober's phone, uh, phone signal when he texted Amber the meeting place. His cell phone is actually very close to Amber's current position. And Goober is supposedly with Amber's dad. I don't know. I think it's all a bit sus. Let's hope that Goober is really look. I, I think it's all a bit sus, all super sus. I, I think it's a I think it's a giant trap. I think that Amber thinks Goober is messaging her, but it's just some other cult member using Goober's phone. Maybe that's what it is. At least we know that his device is registered in the same radio cell as Amber's. I at the radio cell they're both in. As you can see, I was able to pinpoint Amber's exact location. She's at the south entrance of the complex. Okay. I wasn't able to register Goober's cell phone or phone. Shortly after Amber sent through the new meeting place, his signal disappeared. The device must have been switched off. Why is he turning his phone off? I'm getting paranoid. Isn't this totally fishy? Typical. The guy makes everything more difficult than it should be. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, if I if I ask why is he turning his phone off, then the 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 comment, the counter comment would be, well, maybe he's trying to hide from the cult members, right? Which I understand, but eh, I think it's I think look, I think it's totally fishy. Super sus. Let's not expect the worst. Maybe he's just being cautious and scared of being discovered. He seems to be there, though. His phone seems to be there. He potentially is not. Probably is not. More than likely is not. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on the situation. Bye for now. Marco's back. Let's see what Marco has to say. TT, you were saying something about an acquaintance. That he's the only one who can help Tammy and the others. And that you have a clue where he might be held. Is there anything we can do to help? I don't know how you can help. The only clue I have, the only clue we have leads to an old phone or an old factory site. Good to hear you finally believe us. A friend wanted to meet with someone who supposedly knows where he is. Let's just let them know about, about the, the old factory site. They Maybe Till and Marker have been to the old factory site. Could be like an abandoned factory that they've been to once before and they, they might be able to tell us where to go and uh, which path to take to Hall 5. Wait. Can you send us the pictures of the area, please? Marco, am I mistaken or... No, you're right, Till. TT, we know this place. In fact, we know it pretty well. We once spent a few days on this site filming new material. I'm a damn genius. I'm an absolute genius. I <laughs> Definitely saw that come. <laughs> then maybe you can really help us. Are you sure? Sorry, but that's not the time for a silly book. Then you can really help us. 100%. Of course, we'll help where we can. It's been a while since we were there. But I remember it clearly. Guru told Amber to come to Hall 5. Amber is there now. She's looking for a particular hall. Maybe you could help Amber find a way around the place. Look, Guru told Amber to go to Hall 5. Do you know where Hall 5 is? Probably, right? I suppose Goober is the guy who knows where your friend is. We should have tons of images and video footage to help us out. TT... You should add Amber to the group. Please send me her contact. Sure, just a sec. There it is. Amber's contact has been forwarded. Thanks. Maybe we can help her find her way around. The grounds are huge. We nearly got lost a couple of times. Yes, and that's why we took some notes for orientation. I'll look up everything we have and get right back to you. And Amber was added to the BWT group. Marco's offline. Till's probably going to be off. Oh, no, Amber's on. Yeah, she's, she's like, what the hell is this? Don't worry, Amber. It's me, TT. You know me, future ex-hubby. Uh, <laughs> these are a few friends of mine that's been to this location before. They'll be able to help you figure out where to go and, 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 and find Hall 5. What's the deal with this group, TT? Oh, don't worry about it. We, we can help. The group can help. The BWT can help. You're serious? They know where I need to go? Potentially. Pretty much. I think so. They're looking for records and video footage from the site. I hope so too. Marco wants to get back to us in a minute. Yeah, they're looking through records and video footage for the, from the site.
Are we really that lucky? I think it would take hours to find this hall. It's such a big area, I have no idea where I'm going. She's just like walking around aimlessly. Without help, I'd probably get lost. Oh, Mika's back on. What's Mika got to say? I'm so sorry, TT. I don't know what got into me. Belial. Belial got into you. <laughs> I'm just so scared for my sister. I'm at the end of my rope. Everything I have experienced in the last few hours. You know, and then Sandy's assumptions. It's a lot. Sandy's off. But why has Sandy just all of a sudden jumped offline when Mika was talking? Did Mika do something to Sandy? Oh no, you should apologize to Sandy first. I understand you, but you were really going too far. It's okay, Mika. I probably would have reacted similarly. I don't know about similarly, but I think you definitely went a little too far. And unfortunately, it just worsened our relationship with Mika. But that's okay. That's okay. Yes, I know. I already apologized to Sandy. I went straight to her when I realized that uh, what I had written. Annie is really fine, though. I just know that. How can you be sure? What if you're wrong? What if we're wrong? I just hope, look, I look, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. And I, I think she is. I think she might be. You know, you, you know what? what? What do I know? Actually, I don't know anything at all right now. What can I do? Lock and tie her up? I just can't. She's the only one I have left. She's family. I get it, Mika. Please at least promise me that you'll be careful. I promise, TT. She's so weak, she's not a threat anyway. She can barely stand. Yeah, Tammy was super weak too, and then all of a sudden she's running around chasing after people. What's going on with Sandy? Why is she offline? Mika, I'm just worried about you guys. What are you planning to do now? Look, what's going on with Sandy? Why, why is Sandy offline? Why isn't she talking with us while we are talking in the haunted group chat, which she is a part of? She's outside again, getting more water. She'll be back any second. She needed to go offline to do that? Any, time, any other time she went outside, she was online and ta actively talking to me. Annie is calling for me. I have to check on her. Ah, it sounds super sus, doesn't it? It sounds... It sounds sus. It sounds weird. I don't like the way... It, no. Let me know in chat. Let me know in the comments. Uh, sounds weird, right? This whole situation. I don't know. Till we found the material. Marco's online as well. Thanks for supporting us, guys. Let's not waste any time. I filled Amber in already. Amber, are you reading this? Look, let's not waste any time. I've already filled Amber in. Let's go ahead and just give her all the information. Amber says, hi, Marco and Till, both say hello and hi. In order to help you, we first need to find out exactly where you are now. I don't know for sure. I just went from one hall to the next. I'll send you a video. There it is. A picture on the wall. You should be able to figure it out from that picture on the wall there. I couldn't tell what that picture was. Let's look at it again just to see if we can see what it might be.
Oh, Amber's calling. Even with an up close look at it, still have no idea what it is. <laughs> Wait a minute, Amber. That graffiti on the wall there. Could you see it? Could, could we see it up close, please? Of course. That's when she called. Sorry, I thought there was someone there. Okay, I know where you are. Here's a picture of it. Interesting. It looks it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> Still looks super weird. Don't really know what it is. Looks like an old guy with a long beard, but there's there, then there's like a skull in the beard. I don't know. This graffiti is one of the halls on the southern end of the premises. Tongue Tide said the meeting place is in Hall 5. Fuck, Hall 5 is in the northern part on the other end of the premises. How far away from that is Amber? Is there any, is there maybe an entrance or a gate in the north Amber could drive to? Till you need to explain to Amber the fastest way to get there. Yeah, ex just explain the fastest way to get there. That would be the easiest. Yes, please. I'm running out of time. Just a sec. We have a few more aerial shots of the site. They show the three main halls. Amber, you're in the middle one right now in Hall 2. There was a lot of buildings there. Hall 5 is located to the north behind the main buildings. It's shaped like a V. Did we see anything on here shaped like a V? I don't see anything shaped like a V. see anything shaped like a v Ooh, premium chat option do you have shots of that too by any chance of course hopefully they do they probably do right that way we know what the building looks like exactly wait i'll send you in a video i'll send you a video mm -hmm, mm -hmm. definitely looks like a v That's definitely it. Okay, so which way do I go? The safest thing to do would be to turn around and then follow the way from the south entrance to the west. It's a fairly wide road leading completely around the site. There are also two shorter routes, but I'll send you a drawing. I've also marked where you are at at the moment, Amber. So there's Hall 5 in the top right. Amber is currently where the uh, X marks the spot is. Hmm. She... Going around the left-hand side and up, it looks like a lot farther of a distance. I think if she goes through Hall 2... Makes that right turn. Maybe that's the best way? I don't know. They're going to make me have to choose, aren't they? The way left across the road is really long, right? Between Hall 3 and 4, that seems to be the most direct route. Maybe you should just keep walking through the hall and then right. I think you should just keep walking through the hall and then turn right. But is that is that an actual path? 
it's drawn on there as a path, but I, I, I don't know. And that brings us to the butt. That would be the shortest, but also the most difficult route. Yes, the top of the hall is quite run down. You have to watch your step, or watch where you step. Okay, the drawing at least gives me a few, it gives me an overview. That's very helpful, thank you. So maybe, I mean, if, if that's the case, if it's going to take longer because you have to be careful where you're stepping, then maybe going through halls three and four, that direct route would be the quickest route. No worries. Which route shall I take now? You should play it safe, Amber. Take the long route, Marco suggests. Like you said, we're running out of time. Take the route through the hall. From the gate, just walk straight and between halls three and four, that'll take you directly to the meeting point. I think we should just go straight through from halls three and four. That would be... the that, That's still quicker than going completely around... And it could be potentially quicker, even though it's a little bit longer of a distance, it still could be potentially quicker because you don't have to take your time watching every step that you take. That way you don't twist an ankle, get caught into rubble, fall, hurt yourself. I think that's probably the one that we want to choose between halls three and four. That's definitely the easiest way. I don't know about easy. You, uh, you can't really get lost, but it could be pretty overgrown. I'm sure I'll get through. And it's the direct, the direct route to Hall 5, 100%. Samuel's online. That's good because he still has his phone. I'm going to move on then. Keep your phone turned on. Amber, please be careful. All right, keep us in a look. Just, just be careful, Amber. No twisted ankles, no falling down, no hurting yourself. I will, and don't panic if I don't text back straight away. I have to focus. Jason and Samuel are both online, so that's hopefully good news. Maybe Jason's with Samuel? Are one of them going to reach out to me? No, neither one. Hopefully that means that Jason and Samuel are both with each other at the moment. Or they found... <laughs> Samuel's phone, turned it on to look at our chat, found out that Jason was helping, and now they have Jason's phone and Jason and Samuel and Samuel's phone. Probably not. I think maybe Samuel and Jason have been able to meet up, and now they're both online. But let's go ahead and talk to Sandy a little bit. Sandy, what's the matter? I thought you wanted to leave your phone turned on. Please text back if you read this. I'm worried. It's, it, it, Sandy's definitely acting sus as well. Or maybe the situation surrounding Sandy is sus. Maybe something happened to Sandy. Maybe Mika did something to Sandy and now we can't get a hold of Sandy. Samuel says, damn it, are you there? Something's happening. Those bastards. Samuel, what's going on? Have you heard from Jason? What's the matter? Something with Ina? With, with, Samuel, what's going on? I don't really know. Four guys just turned up a minute ago. I was able to hide the phone at the last moment. They were all wearing black robes. With hoods like in a horror movie. One of them held a knife to my throat and... Those freaking animals. I had to watch how they grabbed Ina. They had a bowl with a red liquid. It looked like blood to me. Then they put all kinds of strange symbols on her. I was so scared, I thought they were going to kill her. Then a woman turned up. She was also wearing a cloak, a red one. Something unexpected must have happened. She was babbling about something about a, a sarcophagus that was desecrated. And then they disappeared. Something made them nervous. What are they planning, TT? They want to kill Ina. She's intended to be a sacrifice to the demon. Whatever they're up to, Jason will stop it and get you out of there. I don't know. Look, they're definitely trying to sacrifice Ina. 100%. And I don't think it's time now to start hiding this 
the, the this information from Samuel. What the hell are you talking about? It can't be. We got to get out of here. Jason has got to help us. There's no way I'll be able to open this door. I'll try to reach him. I mean, Jason was online there for a second. You could have texted him. You could have stayed online and texted him. But I guess not. Amber, did you find your way? It's amazing how nature reclaims its habitats if you just let it. I'm between Hall 3 and Hall 4, heading towards the administration wing. It's like a jungle in here. Won't be easy to get through. Oh, it's not that bad, Amber. <laughs> Just some, just a few vines. You have to watch your step. It's easy to get hurt in there. Lots of stuff hiding under the brush. That is true. I noticed. Just stumbled over an old pipe and fell to the ground. Almost cut myself on the metal. Apart from that, it's quiet here. I'll keep going. Still, please be as quiet as possible, Amber. No sign of Goober or your dad yet. Maybe you should have taken another route uh, after all. Uh, look, you just just be as, as, as quiet and safe as possible. I'll do what I can. It'll be fine. I just hope they're okay. Right, guys? I'll text when I'm in Hall 5. Good luck. Break a leg. Well, no, Marco, that's not the... That wasn't the right thing to say. We don't want Amber breaking her leg. She, just, she was just talking about how she fell over a metal pipe. Look, Amber says, better not talk soon. Jason, Jason's on. TT. Everyone is suddenly upset and they're looking for someone. Maybe Ina and Samuel were able to, to escape? No, no, they, they said something about, it, something about a sarcophagus. They're still in the cell. Samuel mentioned that something, ha something unexpected must have happened. Uh, you have to get them out of there. Some monks with cloaks turned up. Look. Samuel definitely mentioned that something unexpected must have happened. Something about a sarcophagus. But what is it if it's not their escape? Yeah, he mentioned a sarcophagus that was desecrated. What? That must be the shrine of the, of the prophet. Who would do something like that? It's sacred to the brotherhood. No one would dare. Someone dared. Shrine of the Prophet. What's so special about the Shrine of the Prophet? Some leader of the Brotherhood? What are, you, what are you talking about, Shrine of the Prophet? John the Seer. An abbot of the Brotherhood. He's revered as a saint. It is believed that he was the awakener of, the, of Belial. His remains are here in the village. The remains of the seer are said to carry his legacy. And his wisdom and power will pass those who drink the blood of the sacrifice from his skull on the day of arrival. The privilege is granted to the superiors because they would lead Belial's armies. I need to find out exactly what happened, TT. Maybe I can use the distraction, distraction to help your friends. I'll be back in touch as soon as I can. Annie's online. Hopefully Annie's doing better. Glad to see that she's back online. TT. Uh, Annie, how, how are you feeling? Are you okay? Feeling any better? So, look, I'm, I'm so happy to hear from you, Annie. I'm sorry, TT. That's why I'm reaching out. I'm scared. Something is wrong with me. There was this, this noise. I don't know what happened. When I woke up, I was freezing. I'm so cold. Mika thinks you're exhausted. Sandy fears you're infected. You seem pretty normal to me. <laughs> um, man, what do we do? Sandy fears... Look, Sandy fears that you're infected. 
even if Mika doesn't want to believe it. What if it's like with Jarek or Tammy? The beast could be inside me. Why else would I have these symptoms? If it's really this demon, then Sandy and Mika are in danger. What should I do now? I could already be possessed without even realizing it, like Jarek. I could be hallucinating already. Maybe I'm just imagining you, TT. No, no, you're not imagining me. I'm, I'm, it, it, it's me in, in all my glory. <laughs> Any please, you gotta stay calm. I assure you, I'm real. No, you're not. Look, I, I assure you, I'm 100% real. I'm terrified. What if, what if I turn into a monster, into that monster too? I can't. Crap, gotta go. I think Mika is coming back. I don't want her to get any angrier than she already is. Tammy is online? What? Why did you? Why did I? I didn't do sh Tammy. What are you saying, Tammy? Well, we know you're possessed. We know you're not talking, talking right. That, that's not what that says. These are all a bunch of symbols. That, that I can't make that out at all. Why did you do this? We were innocent. You should have taken care of us. Um, I'm going to ask. If, I, I know this isn't Tammy. This is the possession, but I guess I'll ask. Are you okay? Even though I know it's not Tammy. Fuck you. <laughs> mm. You took advantage of us. You tortured us. You left us freezing in the dark when we needed you most. Tammy, what are you talking about? Is that you? Look, is, is that you? Is that you, Tammy? Tammy is no longer there. She's with us now. It's definitely the possession talking. Damn you. May the Lord punish you for your sins. They didn't do anything to you. Please let my friends go. What was done to you was decades ago. We have nothing to do with it. Look, what was done to you was decades ago. I have nothing to do with it. None of us do. It wasn't us. Not my I don't want to answer that call. Let's not and say we did, right? I mean, ah, damn it. You really think we were ever let them go? Our pain will also be their pain. They will suffer just like we suffer. Why did you allow this to happen? You adults allowed this to happen to us. We trusted you. And now you will pay for it. We will be at your mercy. We will not rest until your debt is paid. We are the one who took our lives is now able to save theirs. Mm. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Um... Ah, not good. Not good. Annie thinks that she might be possessed. We, we just talked to her. She thinks that she might be possessed. Something's going on with Samuel and Ina in the form that, that you know, the, the cult is, is preparing Ina, which isn't good. But it seems like there is somebody on the inside that is doing something, desecrating sarcophaguses to maybe buy us some time it's probably jason's son the i can't remember the name but the one that they cut the tongue out of um i wish i could remember the name can't remember the name but it's probably jason's son that's doing that to help buy us some time uh, hopefully we can utilize that time and uh, get samuel and ina out of there still not 100 percent certain on if annie or mika are possessed i still don't know 
I still think that if you're going, if Belio's going to possess one of them, then they're going to, the, the person that's possessed is going to have similar symptoms as Jarek. Aggression, anger, that type stuff. The, the stuff that Mika is showing. Not so much that, uh, that uh, not Tammy, but the, not, not so much that Annie is showing. But we don't know. I do still 100% think that <laughs> Amber is just walking right into a trap. I don't trust Goober. Um, Goober is doing one of two things. Either luring Amber to the trap based off of, you know, fearing for his life because of the, the Brotherhood. They probably found him, found out what he was doing. Or the Brotherhood found Goober and is now using Goober's phone to lure Amber and probably did something to the Goober. Who knows? Kidnap Goober. I don't know. But I hope you guys are enjoying Orphans as much as I am. And if you are, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and join the Tethered. As always... Thanks for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.